Hello everybody, it's Nick here with another Next Topics Dragon Ball What If Topic video for you guys today. And today, I'm bringing you guys the first part of the Next Topic of Dragon Ball. But before we get into that, I just wanted to say about the whole update with Topics thing. I know that I never gave updates about Topics really before in the past, but starting from now on, I want there to be a little surprise whenever I bring a new topic to the surface. Especially if it's new, surprising, good characters, etc. But anyway, with that out of the way, time to introduce the first part of what if Tarble was raised by Vegeta. Now, as I explained in my update video, I wanted to bring Tarble to the surface because as of the Battle of Gods movie, making him canon and all to the actual series, sort of like Broly and Gogeta, some characters like that, he hasn't gotten his own story or something that makes him unique. And that's where this series comes into play. Because, as Vegeta's brother, it was shown that even though he had a power of 1200 when we saw him in his non-canon movie, he still had potential as Vegeta's brother to be as strong, if not possibly stronger, than him. And if you guys have seen Kaba from the Universe 6, he's kind of like Tarble. He's sort of like Universe 6's Tarble, in a way. Hashtag, kind of... Vegeta. Now, what is going to make Tarble influential in this series? Well, I say that whenever King Vegeta in the original lore banished him away because of his low power level, let's just say that something changes this time and the king has a change of heart. Now, we know from the original Dragon Ball lore that King Vegeta does not really care about anybody. He did care about Vegeta. But as for the whole Vegeta bloodline in general, none of them really showed any true compassion in a way, like Goku's family does. Well, Bardock didn't really give a crap about Raddus or Kakarot. Well, he did care about Kakarot, or Goku, because he stowed him away with Gine. But anyways, regarding King Vegeta, having a change of heart here, and actually caring about Tarbo enough to train him with his son, and Radis and Nappa, and actually give him something to work with instead of just banishing him away. And this all happens just before the whole events of the Broly movie come into play. Or sometime in the middle. Can't really describe a good time to actually pinpoint this specific plot point, but let's just say it's in the middle events of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie in which we see the flashback. Anyways, who does he train with? Who does Tarbol train with to get him stronger, specifically? Well, at this young of an age... I feel that even though he's Vegeta's brother, that Raddus would be the next best option to train alongside Tarbal. Now, why is this? Well, for one, Raddus is the weakest among all of them besides Tarbal, and it just seems right that he be the first to train Tarbal. Because Vegeta, he didn't, whenever his planet was first destroyed, both in canon and right now, he doesn't really give a crap, he doesn't give a crap about his father, but we later find that to not be true as he cries to Kakarot, but that won't happen here. Anyways, spoiler alert, he doesn't feel it right that he should train Tarble because he just sees it as a waste of time because he hasn't... He's... Vegeta, as a child, even as a sperm, was freaking great power level, so it's just not right for him to train someone who's not on his level and supposed to be his brother. And Radis, it just seems right in a way that he trains him. And Radis, also in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, not caring at the time about his brother just going missing or 
somehow maybe being blown off of the planet. Actually, while training Tarble, he really begins to feel sorry that he disowned his brother and not even went to try and see if he was somehow alive. And he finds this another way to make up that wrong and a way to better himself for Vegeta's terms. And as the years progress, Tarbo grows into a fine Saiyan warrior, getting his original 1200 power level as he approaches the teen years and going on. As for teen Radis, he gets a lot of growth too. He had already expanded past his adult 1200 power level, and as his teen years progress, he reaches past 1500, staying above Tarble still, but still beneath Nappa and Vegeta. But as the years go on and the two begin to grow stronger in their own right, Vegeta picks up on this, and he thinks to himself that Despite everything that his father told about him, Tarble, and despite everything he knew about Tarble, he kind of feels like maybe Tarble really does have potential. And maybe it was just wrong for him to not have noticed that earlier on. Maybe he was wrong, and his father was wrong. But maybe that's all why he was brought here to train with them to make that up, to prove that. And as the original dragon story progresses and the Saiyans continue to get planets for Frieza after the whole planet of Vegeta argy-bargy, Tarble and Radis have excellent gains. And this actually starts to impress Vegeta because they are conquering planets what... The conquering of planets that Vegeta, Nappa, and Radis did in the original lore is nothing compared to the four of them together. And this definitely catches Frieza's eye too, and definitely pleases him. Albeit they're Saiyans, so you know how that goes. Now, one day, after training, Radis comes to Vegeta and decides to talk to him. And it's not about getting promoted or training up with his brother now that he's much stronger or getting his own training. He brings up planet Earth and says that his brother Kakarot resides there. And with this whole Tarble ordeal and all the conquering of planets and the joy from it all, he's hardly had any time to actually think about this. But... Even though they have Tarble, one extra Saiyan, Kakarot, would be even better. Think of how much more mighty the army would be. Now, you wouldn't think that Vegeta would might take up on this like he did before. No, that doesn't happen this time. As much as another Saiyan for the army would be beneficial and would make their army twice as invincible now that... They're all much stronger, because Vegeta and Nappa had a tiny bit of training with Tarble after seeing his growth. Tarble is shown to be more than whatever Kakarot could have mustered. Now, if need be, he's not pushing this off, but he tells Radis, if need be, if absolutely need be, they will go to see Kakarot if the planet is really that hard. But that's only an if. Now, on to the specifics. For the planet that the Saiyans were going to go to, since it was never discussed or never figured out, there are mixed opinions. Some say that they were going to go to planet Namek. Others say that they were going to go to Yardrat. Because... If you guys remember, Goku, whenever he escaped Planet Namek in one of the Ginyu pods, it was designated for Yardra. I'll mention that more in a minute. Now, where do the Saiyans go and why? Well, Planet Yardra. Because it seems, for one thing, it seems more logical than the likes of Namek, 
just for the relevance of the story and the way it goes. Secondly, like I said, I'll bring this up again, Goku going there in one of the Ginyu pods that was already designated for that planet. Now, I know this is unrelated to the likes of the Saiyans, but some say that Goku just pushed buttons and it sent him there. Others say that this was the designated planet as a whole, where the Ginyus were going to go, and just maybe where the Saiyans were going to go. So it seems like the best choice for the story. Now, with this many changes already, how are the Saiyans going to combat the Yardradians, even though the Yardradians can't really fight per se, and how will the story go without Radis going to Earth? And how will the Dragon Team be faring on Earth without the Saiyans going there? You'll have to wait for next time, because that's where we're going to leave things for now. Now, what do you guys think about this story so far? Do you like the idea of Tarble getting his own justice? Something that a lot of characters and a lot of shows and movies have yet to get. And what do you think about Radis's decision in training Tarble and the whole situation with Goku not being brought into the fold yet? Leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.